We're gonna say whatever we want Because the show will always be uncensored And there's only one address The show's a party FM original <laughs> oh, now, now back to the, to the uh, Xbox Now whether you're a conspiracy theory or, or not Because I really honestly don't think Microsoft gives too far the fuck what they're, what they're doing in the house um, you, you know, here, here's my thing. If you got nothing better to do than watch me play video games, <laughs> then you know you can see my balls hanging out if I'm if I'm naked. I don't give a shit at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the way I would have seen it. If if you wouldn't get off watching me play video games in the nude or in sweatpants or whatever I happen to be wearing that day. If if somehow that makes your company better, enjoy it. Enjoy the show because I don't see how that's going to do anything. Well, no, but see, my issue with the whole thing is one the five hundred price range. Like you were complaining about the price range. Yeah, I it's, think uh, it's I not. Think, five, it's five ninety nine. Oof. Is it five ninety nine? It is five hundred ninety nine dollars. It is a six hundred dollar machine. Good Jesus lord. Christ. Um, yeah, they could have made this cheaper by four is five hundred. Oh well, yeah, I guess with when it comes to tax and all that other shit, yeah. Um, but my problem with it is, is like, listen, they could have made it cheaper, you know, by just removing the connect and not having having that as a something you can buy if you really want it. Um, well, the, the reason the reason they included it, and this makes perfect sense because. How often was the PlayStation Move utilized for PlayStation 3? I don't know. Very, very rarely. And you could look at any system going all the way back to the Power Glove on the uh, on the old so- NES. Anytime a control system or, or peripheral is optional, you will not get support for it. And the reason is it's a fractured marketplace. If, if you're going to make a video game, if you're going to program a game, are you going to make it for the control system that 100% of the people own or 12 to 20 or 30% of the people own? So in Microsoft, including the Kinect with every system, that means that every Xbox One game will be Kinect compatible. And the, 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 the programmers and designers have reason because they know that 100% of their user base will have the appropriate peripheral. Okay, and, and I agree with you with that, but here's, here's what I have to say. How many people are actually going to use it? Because I know I had a Kinect. I bought a Kinect, uh, the Kinect One, yeah. the uh, Xbox 360. I, I used it like on two games. One was some kind of fighting game, mm-hmm. and another was the game that came with it. And oh, see, I was there's like, a problem. You should go get Disney Connect. Disneyland Connect is the <laughs> best Connect game ever, and I'm not even making this up. You could actually walk through Disneyland in in real time in scale. Wait, but wait, wait, wait. Does it have people trying to sell shit to me? Yes. <laughs> You, you, Man, you have what to it was buy a hat for your avatar, and you, and you have to buy a, a T-shirt with Mickey Mouse on it for your avatar. Yes, it is just like the park, except you could you could drink beer while in this park, where you can't in the real Disney. <laughs> That's the, the big difference. Was I missing? I swear to God, man. No, but seriously, I mean that may be cool. And, and, here's, and here's the reason for that: you will never get good mass market connect games. Be- and do you know why? How many people own Connect versus how many people owned Xbox 360? Um, yeah, you're, not exactly. So your EA or your Rare or your you know Activision, which game are you going to sink your money into when you're in research and development? A game that that it, that will that will reach a market of twelve percent or a hundred percent. Uh, 12%? Yeah, well, and that's why you're not making games, my friend. <laughs> I know. I was just being an ass. <laughs> that's okay. I knew exactly how to counter that. That's what TapTap yeah, does. Anyways, uh, 
And that's no, why you'll no. see better connect games for the, right, for the Xbox One. That's true. But let me just put it this way. Okay. You, you are right about that there could be better connect games. Especially games that uh, you people put development in when it comes to like an actual hot title that you don't necessarily need to use the connect to use. But it's just as a function. But really, to be honest, and this is just generally where I'm coming from, it's cool that you want to get people up to move. I, I know that the, what was it, the Wii had that Wii remote thing and people were doing all that shit. But really, when, you know, when you're looking at your like replays on some of those stupid little titles, you look like a fucking idiot flailing your arm. I mean, there's, <laughs> you know, that, and, and that is 100% true that you look like an idiot when you're doing it. But you know what else is 100% true? Right. When you have when you have eight people over and a case of beer and you got people you're playing get fucked up. <laughs> you're you're playing you're playing Connect Bowling, which I, I have Connect Sports 1, the, the first one, which is a great game. When you're playing Connect Bowling or you know the, the bowling game's fun, uh, the Disneyland game is fun. Uh, the, the Star Wars game was horrible um, <laughs> I only played the demo for that that thing was garbage but when you, when you get a group together and you're playing connect sports and you're playing ping pong or you're playing bowling and you're having a great time it doesn't matter if you look like a fool you're having fun when you're doing it and also make sure you're I drinking checked, that's what games were about not looking cool but, but having fun all right that's true but you didn't let me finish what i was going to say can I finish? Can I finish? but in the end even though you're looking like a fool you're fucking exhausted at the end of it it's not something <laughs> well it's, it's not, maybe, not, maybe, not, hold on hold on maybe you no, no, i gotta point to this i'm not saying that it's not great exercise but how many people are going to choose to sit and use that connect and exhaust themselves to enjoy themselves rather than, you know, sit down and actually pick up a control and play it. T tell you what, and here is the perfect counter to that argument. Four is a four. Four is a four okay. is completely controller controlled, but it utilizes the, co it's controller controlled, but it utilizes the connect camera to adjust your camera view Based on how you adjust your head, so you, you could use you're using the controller, and you, you you lean your head to the left, and you get a little more of the left side, including the 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 outside mirror. You move your head a little bit to the right, just leaning your head. You, you don't turn your head so you can't see your TV, but you lean your head a little to the right, and more of the view that you would see from the from the from the car you, you would see more of that passing passenger side uh, dashboard all the way up to including the the outside mirror so you have a more realistic experience a more immersive experience and you're still playing with the controller therefore you're not sweaty and tired because you're out of shape <laughs> okay well all right there you go but but that's only for people who want to play Forza. What about other games? There was well, well, there was this one game. Uh, it was some kind of hard game where you had to slash and hack or something. People aren't going to want to just do that. They're going to want to hit a button. They want to go to form a combo, not try to figure out how to do it with their arms and feet. I mean, if you want to do that, go to take a karate class or some shit like that. And the Xbox One launch titles are controller controlled. Yeah, Interesting how that happens. And they are connect enhanced. They are not connect controlled. They are controller con controlled and and connect enhanced. And right, that's, yeah, that's what they're doing. <laughs> that's true. And I understand that. But what I'm saying is how often are people going to mess with the connect compared to actually just sitting down with a controller? I understand what you're saying about... But yeah, you're not messing with connect. Too. That's what you're not understanding. You're caught in the old swing your arms around like a monkey connect. <laughs> this is sit down with a controller and it follows your eyes. It follows your hands. Creepy. It responds to your voice. Connect. Uh, Xbox. Sorry. <laughs> Xbox. I'm horny oh. right now. <laughs> 
No, I mean, I just, I, I don't like the idea. And that's all. And and the one thing you got to understand is when people have been bitten once, and that's how a lot of these people think. It's kind of very simplistic thinking, mind you, that they're not going to give it a second go, especially when, you know, it was a bad experience the first time around. I mean, they should. If here's it's going to be good, difference. they should. Huh? And, and here, here's the thing. You're not buying Connect games for Xbox One. You're buying Xbox One games for Xbox One. And here's the thing. If a game has Connect features, you could use them or you could ignore them. You're not yeah. being bitten a second time. Anybody who went out and got just dance and didn't think they'd have to get up <laughs> no, and dance I'm to it not deserves that. to be ridiculed. I'd love to see I'm, that. I'm not saying they are going to be bitten a second time. But that's what many people would think. Well, I don't know many people who have looked at the Xbox One controller and said... This is this is gonna this is useless. I have to I have to wave my arms around. Um, I've talked to a few people who said that if they went and got the Xbox, they would not even use the Kinect. They'd take it off and well, they're dumb. It. See what 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 they are? They are people who are buying the hype that it's always watching you. You know, <laughs> I use my Kinect primarily for voice controls. I don't use it for for much gaming because uh, now that I'm broken, I can't afford beer. I don't have a lot of people over to play bowling with me, so I'll you know I'll tell my connect to, to you know Netflix. You know, I go straight to Netflix. Voice control is what I use it for primarily, and that's what most people actually use the connect for, both the original connect and Xbox One connect. The the fact that it can you know it could read you now actually it's really nice it recognizes you so you could have your your profile set up and it recognizes who you are you don't even need to log in uh, manually you, you just sit there and it knows who you are and uh, it could actually it is it, it could read your your eyes uh, it, you know you get a premium content you don't need to to manually input a 20 digit code any longer you hold up the barcode to the connect and oh, that's it reads awesome. it <laughs> Well, I mean, that's all cool, and I'm, and I, and I hope it. it your succeeds. argument is your only argument against. Why are we Kinect arguing? Is, it made me tired when I used it. No, no I mean, you no. Know, that is my argument generally for the first time I use it. I'm not saying I don't want it to succeed. What I'm saying generally is the reason I don't like all that is because when people kind of gave them backlash, they they returned that backlash instead of tried to work with them or explain it better. And you know what? They kept back like, like dicks from everything actually, that I saw. Actually, I don't know what you've read, but I've read just the opposite. Uh, that what, what I was understanding is originally they were talking about not being able to uh, resell games and having the games oh, yeah, tied oh, yeah. to the account. And, and when the people said that they didn't like that, they said, okay, we're going to listen to you. And you'll be able to, to sell your used games just like you, you could share your games with friends, sell your used games just like any other game. So, oh, yeah. No, yeah, I uh, didn't hear that one. I heard that there was going to be still restrictions, and it took them a while to consider that. They had to wait till the backlash rose before they even made that decision. I mean, and, and then there was and, other things. Like there's like actually the, there's actually the funny thing when you look at the the uh, terms of service for PlayStation Four, there is a provision that prohibits you from selling games. So if you get caught selling a PlayStation Four game, Sony can pull the plug on you. Oh yeah, I certainly can. can. But that's always the so case. So the argument but, against Microsoft is the same one Sony is enforcing. Yeah, I understand that, but the difference is is how they introduce oh, it. public perception. Public so, perception. So, so I'm not against I'm not against the Xbox. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of things about the Xbox One I actually did like. But I don't want all this other junk with it. I mean, I don't care if it is going to add junk? depth or something. I just want to play a fucking game. You could do that with an Xbox One. Yeah, but I don't really care for the fucking Connect. Okay, it's, 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 it's a choice. choice. No, it's not a choice. And here's why it's not a choice. is when you make it a choice, it doesn't get supported. Now we're back to that circular argument that you okay, had okay, against yes, the Connect yes, in the yes. first place. So if it's not a choice and I don't have a choice, then I don't fucking want it. Hey, uh, That's okay. 
Tep Tep's echoing off of your uh, system there, by the way, Toxie. Am I echoing? Oh, it's it's uh, it's Toxie's it's fault. Not, it's 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 just an iPad. I don't know how. It's just an know. iPad. I was like, am I echoing? Well, if I get an iPad, I'm gonna have to hear an echo the whole time. You know, I'm the looking at Xbox choice to have that One echo. <laughs> I'm looking at I'm looking here at Xbox One launch titles, <laughs> NBA 2K14. I don't think you have to actually run up and down a basketball court to play that game. NBA oh, Live 14. Again, don't think you need to run up and down a basketball court. Need for Speed Rivals, which I've heard is a very good game. Uh, it, it does have some connect features, but you don't need to actually own a steering wheel to play the game. Um, you have to see. actually Zoo take the steering wheel out of your car you and take it to your Xbox. You do not need to have animals in your house to play <laughs> this. Can, can Dead Rising 3, <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, so, Killer so Instinct. <laughs> you know, yes, I, I know what the lineup is. Games, but, but I'm are not you trying to, are the you, argument no. <laughs> that says you have to have Connect to play these games. Are, are you trying to convince me that I should like the Xbox? That's the question. No. Uh, no, I'm not trying to convince you that you should like the Xbox. I'm trying to convince you that your argument that Connect, the, re, the, the because Connect wasn't quality games on Xbox 360, that there shouldn't be Connect on Xbox One. No, I never said that. Actually, you I did. said that I don't like Xbox, and I think that a majority of people have that general ideology, that, that thought. You don't like Xbox. And I'm not saying, I, 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 earlier I said, I hope it succeeds. And, and you also said you don't like it because of Connect, because yes, it comes yes, with no, Connect. I don't, no, no, I don't like the fact that they don't give me the choice. And I explained and I understand why your they don't argument give you the about choice. choice. You say <laughs> if the person doesn't have choice, then generally that product might not succeed. Well, if the product is a good product, it should automatically succeed with the choice. So mm-hmm. if that's the, it's all about perception, though. Okay. If the product. Uh, okay. Uh, a- answer me this. Answer me this. Name huh. one peripheral for any gaming system that received widespread support and became the standard. Became the standard. Let's see. Let's Always. See. A difficult. Do, 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 do. Fucking virtual boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. No, oh, 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 oh. Um, really, to be honest, I don't. I, you know, I don't think so. I don't think any of them. Exactly. The only way that a peripheral system can receive support, long-term support, down the line. And have quality games for it. You know, we could even go all the way back to the wood paneled Atari Twenty Six Hundred that only had three cartridges that utilized the disc wheel system rather than the joystick system. Hmm. Yes, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred <laughs> had two different control options available to it, and they had three games for the for the uh, control wheel. Everything was for the for, for the standard, and that's what Microsoft is doing with the Xbox One. They have made the Connect standard, just like here's an, here's another example. Okay. okay. Voice command. Remember when when Xbox came out and it came with a headset, and every game had voice functionality, and Sony didn't do that. And hmm. even to the end of its life cycle, Sony does not have standard across the board voice communication with every video game. Okay, so so what are we arguing about here now? <laughs> We're there arguing have to be an argument? why Connect has to be, why Connect is not the problem. Oh, it's it's sure okay it if, if you don't. I, said if, I didn't like it. Then that's okay. But your the the logic for you not liking it was, I have Connect for Xbox 360, and it didn't have widespread gaming support. Therefore, now that it's available for the Xbox One and will have widespread gaming support, I don't want it. No, I never said that. Actually, you did. No, I said I just didn't like the concept of the Connect. Okay, so how's that different than I don't want it? I don't like the concept is the same as I I want it. (laughs) 
Okay, <laughs> so you do I don't want, want it. it. Is I, that what you're saying? Like, hey, no, no, see. You, no, you said you don't like the concept, but you do I want it. I wish it well. I hope it succeeds. You're <laughs> do you trying want to connect convince or not? me that I should like it do because it's going to be a standard. Okay, well, if I'll, people I'll don't want it to be yes no they're let not me, going to allow it to be. Let me boil it down. Let me use small words. Do you <laughs> want connect or not? No. And I, I've said this. How many times do I have to say it? No, I don't want connect. Bingo. And you also said the reason you don't want connect, and I'm quoting you here, <laughs> Go ahead. is you have connect for Xbox 360. Yeah, I and you're not impressed with the gaming support. No, I was, well, yes, yeah, sort of. I'm quoting you that. here. You can't say no because you said that. <laughs> you but you <laughs> okay, do realize yes, that right, you, right, argue, no, no, you, you realize you are arguing right. with I did the master debater. I did uh, say, debater. I did say I have that. a master but debater. Why should I like it for the system? If I didn't like it the first time, no, you didn't disregard, say why should I like disregard, it. Disregard no, disregard whether. I, I, you know, it's going to be the standard. Why should I be told I should like it? Because it is the standard, and it'll have wider support. Okay, so since it's their their standard, therefore I don't have to like their system. That's See how okay. That works? But but that's circular argument on your part. <laughs> it's I don't like it because I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it because I don't like it. Exactly. Quite simple. No, which is a circular right. argument, they have a reason which is to like a fallacy, anything. which is no, an argument not based on logic. No, no, I had an experience with it, mm-hmm. and that experience, whether it's changed or not, the brand itself. I'm, you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe I can be convinced sometime in the future when I actually do give it a try. But for the time being, oh, well, you haven't my experience with it. Oh, hell. Me, I didn't realize I was talking to a caveman here. <laughs> you, you, what do you? What is it? Why do I have to like? Right, no, no, you answered this. I didn't why? say you have to like it. No, I just, I just I... pointed out that you, you explained why you didn't like it, and I explained. No, no, answer me. Why I explained the I counters to those arguments. Okay, but, but, but why do you think I should like it? I, you don't have to like it. Okay. You no. said you don't like it because, and I said, I don't like well, it. yeah, exactly. You don't like it because you don't like it. Exactly. Circular is, logic. Oh no! What is wrong with that? You're calling me a caveman. No, I, I called you a caveman like because you haven't even. Like, if if I don't like the way something looks, you, you haven't you you haven't test driven it, and it's a, it's available in every <laughs> mall in America. Uh, All right, and, that's fine. Test drive. So I, I can I only assume that like you've been living in a cave. If, if I walk past an and I, and I don't like the way that answer. looks, do I have to like it and no. give it a chance? No, but if you don't so give it a what's chance, what's your argument here? Close-minded. No, that's not close-minded. Actually, that's the exact definition of being close-minded. I don't want to try it, therefore no, I don't I like did, it. No, but see, I gave it a <laughs> chance and I didn't like it. No, so I gave it. I gave the other one a chance and didn't like it. Who cares whether this is like the next improved one? I didn't originally like it. So mm-hmm. why should I like the next one? That's like saying I've tried Pepsi, therefore I don't like Coke. Toxie, Microsoft just called. They'll be sending you the check shortly. You can settle down. You know, Squig, here's the funny thing, Squig. <laughs> if he wanted to take a different argument and, and, funny. and, and uh, go with uh, with you know Microsoft over Sony, I'd have been able to argue in that's favor as well. <laughs> um, it, it's no, my, my no, whole you thing. automatically think that you won some stupid argument about whether I hey, like something or not. Whether I have I'm a reason arguing that you didn't lose. That. I'm no, not arguing that I won. That. You're arguing that you didn't lose. No, I'm not. You keep saying that I'm making you like something. I'm not. I don't like. I said no, I don't no, care no. if you like I, it or I not. You're trying to make me like something. I'm saying I do not like it, and you're saying oh because you're not giving it a chance. Why? Because the first time you tried it, you flailed your arms like uh, some kind of crazy monkey. No, <laughs> I didn't like the first experience. I don't really care for the second experience. I don't have to have a fucking reason. Get okay. it? 
No, I and you're it. such a caveman because you're saying my logic is circular and it has no reason or rhyme because That's I'm right. being just minded. I don't have you, to you said you said you have judged a system without no, actually. I didn't judge the system. Act- I judged the you, you didn't judge it. Did you say you don't like it? No, I Is that not a judgment? I, I said that the Xbox One would be okay without it, in my opinion. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't come without it. So there is no Xbox One well, without and it. I don't, yeah, and that's fine. Since it doesn't come without it, since that's not the option, I don't have to like it. And I don't have to get it. Okay. See how that works? Consumer- I, I see how that works. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> No, I just I think it's funny because he's he's trying to sit there and convince me of something, but when he's not convincing me of something, he's telling me I, it's a circular logic that I have to have a reason to like something or give it a chance. I don't. And 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 I call not giving something a chance as being closed minded. And you said, and I quote, "I'm not being well, closed minded." Yeah, no. No, that's that's having the right to choose, my friend. I can give <laughs> something a chance. Oh. Uh, you, you do. Yeah, I gave listen, this, you do have I the right to choose, and I also have the right to point out that your argument for not choosing it is flawed. Just because I tried the former product and I didn't like it. That's so okay. Not, well, that's not. There is nothing wrong with that. You see how that works? I it's do like, see how that works. Imagine, imagine for a second, you get something that, that's edible, and you you think everybody says, "Hey, you know, try this product." They're, they're shoveling it down your throat, and you're like, hey, cool, I'm going to spend my money, I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to eat it. Then you eat it, and you don't like it. Now, now, a couple now of years let's down try the road, something different. No, a couple of years down the road, they introduce something that may or may not taste good. But because I tried their former product and didn't like it, mm-hmm. I don't have to try the second product, because from my experience, I didn't enjoy the first time. You see where I'm working with that? I, I am seeing where you're going with that. And a lot of people would say that that's not giving the product an opportunity, and that's prejudging, which, um, oh, there, there's a word for that, prejudice. <gasps> um, and and that's, that's being uh, closed-minded. Okay, but it's a choice. I got a freedom oh, to choose whether I, I, I want I, to I never said you didn't have the freedom to choose. What you're telling me is I don't have the right to tell, to, to use your argument why you don't want to do that, to, to point out that that's a flawed argument. It's not a flawed argument. It's a very, it's it's a normal argument. Now, why do you, why do you want to convince me that I should give it a chance? I what haven't even, I haven't, I haven't, motivation. I haven't not once told you you have to give it a chance. No, but you're telling we're, me we're, I'm just minded because I wouldn't give it a chance. But what's your right. motivation? No, no motivation, except that in order to judge a product, you should at least try it. I, but I'm here not you are, for the last, the, thir- the last 30 minutes, I, you have judged something that you have not tried. Uh, you, you know, you can't tell me that sex is good or bad if you're a virgin. No, I couldn't. Exactly, and you can't tell me if the Xbox One is a good or bad system if you haven't tried it. But you okay. have spent the last three minutes telling me why it is a bad system because you don't want to try. I don't have to. Why? Why do I need to prove to you whether okay. something? So, so your opinion is you have no opinion. Let's let's say in my close-minded opinion, I'm going to agree to disagree. Yeah. What do you say? I'm going to agree to disagree. You, you know, yeah. I, I, I unless I have experience with something, I will not argue for or against it. No, but I'm you, not. Well, you against, have spent no, thirty arguing minutes arguing against, against the system that you no, have no, no experience. I'm not arguing against it for anyone other than myself. Mm-hmm. So, so whether, whether I'm being close-minded in those regards, that is literally my choice based off of okay. previous experience. So it's not. So you're sharing an opinion. So, so let, let me get this straight. You're you're sharing an opinion based on no facts, except an opinion of a previous product. Yes. Okay. Just want to just want to clarify that. No, I'm not so, saying no, no. See, you're you're putting words in my mouth. You're trying to tell me that I'm saying that the product isn't good. I'm not saying. 
I'm saying I do not want to try the product because I don't think it would be good for me. Do you see it? see that? And and I asked, why did you think it wouldn't be good for you? Because of my previous experience. See, you're With you're bringing this stuff. around a lot to a circular argument. Because the the core basis for you not liking the Xbox One is you did not like the the Xbox 360 Connect. Yes, from a past experience, I feel that I don't even want to give it a try. It's kind of like saying, like I said, if you've eaten a product from someone and it was bad, then you remember. So, so if I if I have eaten a Doritos Loco Taco sure. from Taco Bell, Delicious. I didn't like the Doritos Loco Taco. Therefore, I will also not like the Coke that Taco Bell sells. No, but see, Coke, it's, they it's Pepsi. a product they sell. It's not owned by them. Actually, it, uh, if it's Pepsi, it is owned by them. Huh. It is? Right, for once. Yes. <laughs> Pepsi owns Taco Bell. Okay, but it's an entirely different product. That be You're comparing apples to oranges now. Or Coke and, to Pepsi. And this is an entirely different product as well. Okay, it is, but it's an offshoot of its original product. Okay, like so if, if I don't like tacos, therefore I must also not like burritos, because they're both Mexican food. You might, you know, it might be that case. Yeah, let's say, let's say you try Mexican food, and from your standpoint, you don't like what you've eaten. All right. Well, well what have I tried? Choose, no, you can choose. What, what have I tried? Have Hold on here. Again. And, and and if I don't choose it, you know, if if I tried tacos, and I said, well, I've had tacos in the past, so I really don't want to try eating burritos. Okay. A lot of people would say that's being closed-minded. Okay, now, I'm I'm just I'm just arguing from that standpoint that yeah uh, you know and it's perfectly you know there's no legal no, standpoint. Perfectly, it, you can say it, you're being closed-minded, but it, it's perfectly logical. If you didn't like what you had there and it's similar ingredients, then technically maybe you're not going to like it. So why give it a try? Because you might be wrong. Yeah, you might be. And who says? Maybe sometime in the future I might give it a try. But for now, I choose not to. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how this started or where we were going, going around with this. In circles. <laughs> I mean, you're going you're gonna to sit there and claim to be the victor and that I'm being closed-minded, yeah. and I am, and you're right in those regards. But my logic is not necessarily circular. From a previous It's not necessarily circular. Explain to me how your logic is not circular. Your reason for not trying a new product circles back to an old product. Yes, but and that is I by didn't very say definition the product is bad, circular. And I didn't say that I couldn't give it another chance. I said I'm not going to give it a chance. I didn't say I'm not ever going to give it a chance. So your argument is generally saying that I am completely pushing the product away. Your argument not for not it. trying the three six for, for for trying the Xbox One and playing you know Call of Duty Ghosts on it or Forza Motorsport Five All right, is well, because on, it on, has on. is because it has Connect and you did not like Connect on the Xbox yeah, Three Sixty. Yeah. I did therefore like you will not like a controller based game on the Xbox One. No, no, because we're not talking about the games. We're talking about the thing itself. Now, well, here's, here's, you, you can't play the game let's, without let's, the thing let's, itself. Let's go with your argument for a second. Let's say, uh, let's say Xbox or even Sony. Let's go with Sony for a second. Sure. Sony creates a controller, right? right? Just as you said earlier, you didn't with like the touch screen. Control. With the touch right. screen. You didn't like because it didn't fit in your man hands, right? I, I didn't like the, the feel of it. And, and like I you. actually, I right, actually had they, the controller in my hands. Didn't like the feel for it. And you know what? I gave it a try, and I didn't care for it. Okay. okay. So you didn't care for it. But say they created another controller, right? Right. Hmm? It's it's very similar to the first one. Maybe a little bit different. But you didn't like the first controller. Are you going to give the second controller? It looks identical. 
Oh, no, I, it, it, well, if it, if, it, if it is identical in, in size and shape, then, you know, if it's identical in size and shape, probably but it not. It, it plays all the games. Because it's a though. comfort issue. It's not a gameplay issue. It's not an aesthetics issue. Okay, but... But here's but the thing. Remember when, remember when, uh, when Microsoft had the, the Xbox, and I mean old Xbox back before it had any you know, uh, one or 360 or any numbers attached. And a lot of people control c- complained about the large controller. So Microsoft created a smaller controller. The controller S is what they called it. And you know what? The controller S became so well bought that it actually became the standard. Yeah, but why is it important? Why? What I think and what I do. Be, it's not important, but what okay, you're doing is you're we giving are, an opinion. You're giving an, an opinion. Yeah, and I something did. that you are not qualified to give an opinion on. And you're, and you're qualified to in give my an opinion. opinion. In your opinion, you're qualified to give an opinion. In my opinion, I've tried the system, therefore okay. I can give an opinion of it. You've tried the Xbox One. Yes, and I've tried the PlayStation Four. Okay, that's fine. And I've seen people playing the Xbox. I've seen now, people in Beijing, but I wouldn't try to give a tour of the town. Okay. But the thing with it is, I don't have to like it. But you're giving an opinion of a product. Yes, and I have a right to give an opinion. Based I'm on? Not, it's not, no, no, no see, see, here's what we're doing. I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. See, that's the whole point of this. You're, you're acting like I'm giving an opinion, and it's supposed to affect everyone who listens to it. You're trying to convince me that your opinion matters. You're trying to convince me that your opinion matters. No, I'm it trying to convince you that your because, opinion matters. No, because I can't prove... No, because I can't prove that you actually played it. You could tell me that to your blue in the face. I didn't see you play it. It could be yes. just you saying, hey, it's a great product. Try it. Okay. Well, maybe I can give it a try sometime in the future. But from my experience, and it's not worth whether trying. it's a past experience or from, not, I do from, not have to like that product. Okay. Whether I played it or not. And you're there, convincing me of it otherwise. I'm not, I'm not convincing irrelevant. you of anything. So you're arguing against me. I'm arguing against your logic. Well, I'm arguing against your logic. Which is what? I point out yours. Point out mine. What? Exactly. What is your logic? So again, you're arguing based on something that you have no information on. No. What is your logic? What is my logic? I, I've pointed out your logic. Your logic is you're arguing against a product because of past mm-hmm. experience with a similar product, similar but different product, and your your argument against the past pro- product is being addressed with the new product. And yet, okay. because it is being addressed, that is exactly and why you will not even touch the system at this point in time. Therefore, you're basing your opinion of a system that you have not used and you have no valid excuse for saying it's not a good system. And I, I can respect no, I never said it wasn't a good it. system. You said, you said, I don't want it. Well, you didn't say it's a good system. For me, you're, you're it's not a right. good system. Oh, okay. I never said it was, wasn't a good system. So, see, there, now you're putting words in my mouth. And I not admitted so that I was point. wrong. But you, but you are being closed-minded and not even hearing that part. Hold on, say that again. I admitted that that you did not say that that you did okay. not say it's not a good system that it's not a good system but you didn't even hear me say that because you're so caught up in what you're going to say that you're not listening to what I'm saying. No, I'm listening to what you're saying now but yeah to some extent yeah. To now. <laughs> but but you've insulted me. I've not once thrown anything at you. You say you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right, and and as I said, the only reason for the caveman comment is because the system is out there. I did not realize that you had a prejudice against the system as to I don't why. Have a prejudice against the system. I love my Xbox 360. You're you said like- you said you would not touch 
you would not demo an Xbox One. No, not with the Kinect. Well, you're not going to be able to demo it without the Kinect. Well, see, How then, about I then clarify I that? Yeah. See, but see, not, see, that's the thing. If I were giving the choice, you're I not would giving the choice. That's exactly the point. If and I was given the choice, I, I would have been no, no, those no, right, I'm not right. given that choice. So, that is so where I come to my conclusion. You're arguing a, a fallacy. No. If I'm not given the choice, I can choose for myself not to deal with it. You mm-hmm. see how that works? It is not and, close-minded. And, and if I were thing. given the choice, I would give I would give the system a chance. The you Kinect are given a choice. Is, is a, it's like if somebody creates a controller for their system. It doesn't necessarily have to be the standard. Okay? I got a choice to use that controller because it fits better in my hand or not. I do not want to use the peripherals, so therefore I don't want it then. Here's the choice you have. If I don't have the choice to remove it, then pretty much I have the choice not to buy it. You see it? So, so you're, you're saying... You're acting like my previous experience is irrelevant. You know, in this case, it is irrelevant. It isn't, because it's a Microsoft product. It's the, the product that it's becoming the standard is based off the same product that I tried before. I it's, didn't not, like, it's like if you buy a phone. It's, it's based off the same product in the same way that a black and white TV is the core of a high definition television. No, it's not. No, it's not. okay. Well, since you haven't tried it, I don't think you have the right to tell me that it is not a significant upgrade. You know, I'm, I'm, let's just end this because neither of us are going to stop arguing. We're just going to keep going around. I don't like the product. Period. Whether you think I'm being closed-minded or not, that's your choice. I don't think I am. I'm generally saying, yeah, maybe the product's improved, but my previous experience with it is relevant to me. It's not relevant to you. And because of that, if it's the standard, I don't like it, and I don't have to buy it. You're trying to convince me that I should buy it or give it a chance, and I don't have to. Can can I have a few moments here? Go ahead. If I used a backup camera on a car, and the backup camera was not a, a good camera, and it caused me to back into a tree, mm-hmm. I would not not buy a new car just because it has a backup camera standard. Okay, but if it, if you wanted it, or if you didn't want it, couldn't you just buy a car from a separate company that didn't have it? Oh, you can. Yes, you, you could. You, you okay, can, so you've you, got you a choice, buy, right? Yes, but I like I said, if I've never been to uh, to a certain place, I don't feel that I have the right to give an opinion of it. And if you haven't tried a product, I don't think you have the right to give an opinion on it. And if you if you are and you're giving an opinion on a product, and that's that's fine, that's your opinion. Everybody is entitled to an opinion. But okay, in my so I am entitled. To oh, it. Hold on, hold on. You're going to let me finish here for a moment. I let you have your words. Let me have mine. All right. You are expressing an opinion, and that is your right. And it is my right to express my opinion that your opinion doesn't matter in this case. Okay. And it's my opinion to say that your opinion about my opinion doesn't matter either. Ah, but I've demonstrated why your opinion doesn't matter. Can you demonstrate why your opinion about my opinion of you not mattering does matter? Because the argument is pretty much irrelevant. It's two people arguing over the internet. That's why. I mean, I can have this specific thought without talking with anyone. Go home, at the end of the day, do whatever I want. And as long as I'm not necessarily trying to convince anyone, I, I wasn't trying to convince you whether the product was bad. That, this argument, this whole entire argument is irrelevant. And so therefore, your opinion is irrelevant to me. My opinion is irrelevant to you. The conversation is irrelevant. Null and void. 
I'm not even sure any of you exist. <laughs> no. I'm just bits and bites. I'm just having fun with this. Beep boop 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 beep boop. Eek. <laughs> I'm a modem. Oh, damn it, I didn't want to use that attack. What attack? Oh, I'm actually in the middle of a video game right now. Oh, cool. Are you using your Kinect? No. Uh, actually, I'm not, because that requires voice and or movement, and uh, I'm just sitting back using a controller. You can do that? It's amazing. I guess you can. Uh, contrary to some people's beliefs, you can just use controllers. Yay, controllers. Because, like, I could buy a car with a backup camera and just not use the backup camera. Like, I still have rear-view mirrors and stuff. You could, but you probably you shouldn't could. buy a car with a backup camera. Right, if you, you don't have to. to. It's probably going to be all standard in the future. It might be. Actually, in most new cars, it is already standard on 2013s. And I wouldn't use the thing. It seems to me like you, what you're staring at a screen and you're not really looking around at your surroundings. You know, they're they're kind of weird. That you know, it's a good secondary tool, but it, it should continue to be a secondary tool. Yeah, you really should look over your shoulder. I've seen, but uh, it, it is a nice thing. It, it gets some blind spots, so it's you know, it, it's well, kind of. It's kind of a nice add-on that enhances the driving <laughs> experience. Are we still going on with this? <laughs> I'm talking about backup cameras. Yeah, I know. But you you make a very valid point. I'm blind and whatnot, so that probably would be helpful to me. It, you know what? That's something you and I have both got in common. I'm blind in one eye as well. <laughs> See, there you go. It's suspended morals. morals. You can call someone a cunt. This kind of radio's made for us. We will do so much more than cuss. We can take the same joke, same, same joke, joke, run it straight into the ground, and then laugh. And laugh. Cause repetition is funny. 